David Sutterle and uh, is the Chief Digital Innovation Officer at uh, SCORE. Yep. And so, thank you to be here with us. Ple pleasure with you, being here with you today. <laughs> so, I was actually impatient to have you on this <laughs> podcast because <laughs> I have questions. Persistent, persistent. <laughs> persistent, yes. <laughs> so, um, I have questions about your recent collaboration uh, with Microsoft. So, you did an sure. hackathon yeah. about Gen AI. Yeah. So could you maybe tell us a bit more about sure, that? Sure, sure. Um, yeah, it was actually an interesting one for us because it was the first time we've, th we've done that. It was roughly two weeks ago. And the way we've kind of done this was kind of, in, as, as you said, in collaboration with Microsoft. Um, we had three locations, so we actually have a tech hub in Rotterdam, we have a tech hub in Kuala Lumpur, and we have our headquarter in Paris. And kind of what we brought together was um, uh, people from different um, areas around SCORE, so being people that are working in the data science, being uh, people that work on the tech side, but also people that work on the underwriting side. So really okay. trying to bring content, tech, and data capabilities together. And um, I think the real idea was for us to kind of prove a few hypotheses that we have done okay. uh, in terms of leveraging generative AI. And maybe, maybe before I go into much detail, I think it's, it's, it's important to know because I know, especially we here at, at ITC, um, everybody's doing Gen AI uh, yeah. according to their pitches. But um, the, the, the key point for us, like we've, we've exploring with large language models, machine learning, AI for more than four years. Mm -hmm. So it's not that it's completely a new topic for us, but it's more kind of, how do we leverage the latest evolution in terms of effectiveness, speed, and also kind of that chat GPT gives you the, the interface to connect. Mm -hmm. um, and really, how do we kind of think about how can we leverage what we've learned with the large language model, but incorporate the new technology. So that's that's actually how we started the idea of the hackathon. That's uh, great. Yeah. I love this topic. <laughs> so maybe could you um, share with us Maybe what you discovered, some uh, some of the potential impact of the solution for the insurance in the future you discovered yeah. during this. Uh, hackathon. Yeah, no, 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 sure. I think um, some of some of the question that we were asking ourselves was really um, not just the value that we have from the tool, but also um, data regulations. Yeah. Uh, how can we apply um, the various uh, G G GPT models? So um, from three point um, five to five. How can we work in kind of a separate cloud environment? Mm -hmm. um, how can we work across the teams? And, and also, what are the costs? So that, that were kind of the questions that we had to explore. Okay. And the way we um, did this is like um, the three locations, eight use cases. So we were actually discussing with teams on the ground, what are your key pain points? Okay. Um, and, and really then giving um, the task to the teams that we've kind of built and really focus them for three days giving them the support of Microsoft in terms of especially kind of how do you leverage the new technology. Um, the word prompt engineering comes up quite often. So really, how do you do create the right prompts to okay. get the output? That's nice. And so I think the, the why everybody was so involved, it was real life cases. It was real pain points. And what we've kind of could demonstrate is um, that leveraging technology is actually of use. So investing three days was I mean, a significant learning for everybody. Okay. Do you have like um, outcome that can tra like transcript for for score in the future, like ten tangible outcome that you can talk about? Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, uh, without um, going into obviously all the details, yeah. but um, I think um, the the obvious one was kind of areas where we have multiple data sources that we bring together, where we have to kind of reference point. Um, I mean, the easiest, um, and that's not a secret, is really all the kind of um, medical underwriting files where you get kind of hundreds of pages yep. and that normally does an underwriter have to review, uh, kind of look for the right pieces uh, and really do prompt engineering to kind of to, to do this, I think the, the new word for this augmented underwriting. Mm -hmm. So really think about the places where the underwriter should look, kind of um, the underwriter still has the pen at the end, but kind of help them guide and kind of make a, a five-hour um, work into a five-minute work in terms of making this sure that we d we extract the right type of information and can validate this. And that's just the starting point. So that was obviously one area, but but I, I think we had multiple areas that um, that was more kind of I would say from an internal focus. We had areas where kind of engagement with clients. So how, how can we leverage efficiency in the tools um, in terms of how we create content uh, mm -hmm. with um, with clients. Uh, it, it all goes back to, I think, once uh, our chief data officer told me when, when Gen, Gen AI came up, it was like, 
It's like you have 20 smart interns who work 24 hours, seven days. <laughs> That's how to interpret Gen AI. Yeah. True. Yeah. Um, and so this is a big momentum. Like, how do you think it's gonna go now? Like, do you have plans for the future? Um, yes and yes. <laughs> yeah. uh, but to, to to answer maybe a bit longer, um, I mean the uh, Forward 2026 plan of score says we want to become the reinsurance of the future. Yeah. Um, uh, without going into the details of Gen AI, I think the, the first step and that we something that we've communicated in September to the market was. We want to create the data platform first that brings us in a position because uh, Gen AI is, is only as good as kind of the data that you feed into the tool. So a lot of the work that we're doing internally is kind of making sure that we have the data in order to mm -hmm. leverage the tools. So that's, that's obviously one element. And then obviously there's, there's quite some investment in terms for us to leverage um, the technology and the increasing amount of data, both from an internal perspective, but also kind of for the solutions that we build for our clients. Um, and ultimately, I mean, it's um, the industry we're in is about the impact that we have on society. Yeah. And here's really, from a life uh, insurance perspective, which is kind of the area that I'm in, is how do we make uh, insurance more attractive, more affordable? And that's where we can leverage data to make sure we have the offering that is kind of tired to you, uh, have a personalized way of kind of bringing it to you, the way we communicate, mm -hmm. and ultimately that will improve the price, right? So. The price and also the way people understand what their insurance is about. Agree, yeah. So closing the protection gap from an educational perspective, yeah. but also then obviously making it affordable, right? So, yeah. Perfect. Well, thank you so much. I'm happy that uh, you were forced to come on this podcast. No, it's, it's a pleasure. <laughs> <laughs> thank you very and much.